One of the harder things about this situation is that we have so many questions. Questions about what's going to happen, what's, what are best practices, what am I supposed to do, what am I not supposed to do, what am I supposed to touch, what am I not supposed to touch, what am I supposed to wear and not wear, and, and just not a whole lot of definitive answers, at least not a whole lot of definitive answers that everybody agrees on. And that can make our day-to-day -day really hard and really exhausting. The Israelites had those kind of things too in the wilderness. I mean, that was new for them too. They were trying to figure out, what am I supposed to do here? How am I supposed to raise my kids? How am I supposed to provide for all of us here? They had a lot of questions, but they had a way to find the answers. A pretty cool way. It was called the Tent of Meeting. The Tent of Meeting was a special tent that was set up just outside the camp. And anytime anybody had a question about something, they would go out to the Tent of Meeting and then they would wait for Moses to come. And then when Moses got to the tent of meeting, a cloud would come down on top of it, which represented the presence of God. And then Moses would go into the tent. And then in Exodus 33, it says that inside the tent, God talked with Moses face to face as a person talks to a friend. Can you imagine those conversations? Talking to God as if you're talking to your best friend. You can imagine how wonderful people felt when Moses came back out and he had God's insight, God's advice, the most friendly advice he knew how to give. I bet they felt pretty good. And good for them, right? <laughs> good for you. Good for you. In the book of Hebrews, it says that you have the ability to do with God what Moses did inside that tent. And that's the right that Jesus won for you. When it says, let us then, because of, because of everything that Jesus did, let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence. With confidence. Approach God and talk to him as you're talking to a friend. Lay on him your wants and your needs and your questions. And two things will happen. It says, you will receive mercy and you will receive grace. You will receive mercy. Mercy is the word that describes God's heart towards you, especially his heart towards you when you hurt, when life is hard, when you have questions, and lots of them. His heart goes out to you and it compels him to take action. And what kind of action? Gracious action. In other words, he treats us far better than we deserve. Always. He treats you as the best kind of friend. So tonight, before you close your eyes, to lay down. Talk to your friend. Tell him what's on your mind. Ask him your questions. Lay on him your wants, your needs your uncertainties, all of them. And then rest well tonight, my friends. Your friend is listening.